Hello, this is a quick video uh, covering my first Arduino project. It's a two-player game using an NBAC style test. Uh, an NBAC test is a memory game used uh, in research for memory related diseases. It works by having a user remember uh, previous events, uh, in this case light colors, and then recalling when a similar color has repeated after a specified number of, uh, of events. That is, if you uh, were playing this as a, a level three, you need to remember when a color is the same as the one that you saw three times ago. This is referred to as a hit. An example would be um, green, blue, blue, green, because green had occurred three times previous. Uh, another example would be something like red, blue, green, red. Um, basically the setup uh, works um, like the center plastic cover here thing is uh, it's just covering a, a three color LED um, and then there's some score markers here on the top the scoring is done in a tug of war style um, so if there's no lights on then the score is even if uh, the player who's red scores a point uh, this light will light up if he scores another one this light will light up if he scores another one this light will light up and if he scores another one the game is over if uh, for instance he was on the second level here and uh, black scored a point then it would move back to this one. If you scored another, back to the middle so no lights would be off, then back over and so on and so forth. Um, the variant uh, with the two player version that I uh, came up with is that uh, when both players agree to start playing, they pick their own back level and then the game uh, begins. Um, so both players are, are watching the light to try and determine when uh, a hit is, has occurred. The first person to recognize that a hit occurs and pushes the buzzer gets the point. Um, it goes uh, first person to, to get it gets the point. If you push the buzzer and it's not a hit, then you lose a point. So the um, light colors would go back and forth depending upon that. Um, it's a pretty simple game, not a lot to it. Uh, I'll open up the, the case here before I get started. I had initially, um, it's a mess in there, uh, again my first project. I uh, initially used uh, dip switches to set um, the end back levels per player, but uh, I didn't really want to have to have the player open the case every time they started a new game or want to change their, their level. And uh, one of the dip switches actually was malfunctioning um, anyway, so uh, this be a lesson to check all of your components before you solder them in. Um, so I actually ignore all of this bottom part um, and, and have it set up to play to pick your end back level in game. Basically, it's just the Arduino. Um, I use headers, basically, to make it easy to swap out Arduinos. Uh, some resistors that each go up to the LEDs, which I put in the top of this uh, cigar box that I bought at Michael's, which is pretty handy for, for a, little, a little project like this. Um, the three colors for the uh, three-color LED in the ground. Each of these are each just their, their one color. For power, um, I just stole uh, an AC adapter off of some, I think it was like a, uh, Swift or wetback or something like that. Uh, just puts out six volts at 300 milliamps, which isn't quite enough voltage uh, to, to suit um, a lot of Arduino projects, but for something as simple as this, it works fine. Um, so I'll plug it in there now. Uh, initially, what you're gonna see is uh, the startup cycle just kind of flashes through each of the buttons to let you know that the game is, is uh, powered up. I'm gonna be starting. Um, to get started, uh, player on the left pushes once, you'll get a green signal. At this point, this player is now picking the end back level for the for the game, so if we'll play at level uh, three, push it once, push it twice, push it three times, and binary up there on the left, you'll see what level you're at. Um, once that's set, then the player on the right pushes their button. Um, that signal set is ready. Now both players have to accept, accept, and accept. So flash three times, and then the game begins. Um, <clears throat> takes a while because obviously no, there's going to be no hits for the first three colors. I think we're looking for a red one now. So that's not a hit. And then a blue, I believe. And red again. No, so that was a miss. So black got the point because red was wrong. So green, green, red. So we're looking for a green. Nope, now we're looking for a green. Okay, so black gets a second point. We're looking for red. Red stole that point back. We're looking for red again. Black stole a point. 
blue. So if red was mistaken, now the red light is up, which means that if black gets one right or red gets one wrong, the game will be over. We'll see what happens there. Blue, green, blue. So we're looking for a blue. So there. Now this player will win. Game cycles through a short ending, then restarts, and you're ready to start all over again. You can pick, um, you know, and back level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which would be pretty crazy. I wouldn't be able to do that myself. But that's it. These are actually just uh, little uh, switches. I got Radio Shack. Uh, this is uh, tubing for uh, soft plumbing, which just happens to fit really nice. Again, really cheap prototyping. But that's it in a nutshell, it works pretty well. Um, I've played a few games. If you speed it up a little bit um, and you find a level that both people are relatively comfortable with, a game can actually last quite a while because there's a lot of moving back and forth and there's a lot of uh, cursing and, and yelling when you uh, think you have one and don't in fact have one, or when someone gets one uh, before you do. Um, so that's about it, thanks.